Hello, hello. It is Dr. Vanessa, the People's Nephrologist, back again. This time I want to talk with you about something earlier in um, the spectrum of kidney problems. I'm holding this little mic because when I have it on my sweater, it pulls it down. I don't like it. So I'm just going to hold it up like this. Um, so this um, topic for today is actually something that I used to hear a lot in clinic. This was so popular that it made it into the part of my book of frequently asked questions, even though it's not really a question, it's a statement. And that was people would find out they had a kidney problem and they often would say, mm -mm, I pee just fine. There's nothing wrong with my kidneys, I pee fine. And basically, doctor, you don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so I want to say a couple things about that. First thing I want to say is um, all pee ain't good pee, all right? So what that means is um, peeing is good pee anyway is about so much more than just passing water from your body yes passing water is important but it also has to contain um the waste uh from your body from you know leftover food or medications that the body can't use and you know it's not the the part of what the liver is doing um so and it definitely needs to contain the electrolytes that your body doesn't need, like sodium and potassium, okay? Um, so if you're waiting for um, not to pee anymore, then you might stop breathing first because I'll, I'll put it to you like this. Um, quite a few dialysis patients, people who are on dialysis, they make some urine and it ain't good pee because they need to be on dialysis. The second major point I want to make is that y'all need to stop sleeping on the kidneys. The kidneys do so much more than just make pee. All right. And, you know, maybe I'm so upset about it because I am a nephrologist, but it is frustrating that a lot of folks don't even know that we are usually born with two kidneys where they are and the only time people think about them is if they get a pain in their back all of a sudden they want to know if they got a kidney problem and the truth is it's probably something related to a uh, nerve or muscle because that's back there too and um, most things aren't going to cause um, pain in your back first all right most of the kidney problems are um, caused by high blood pressure and diabetes and um, most people aren't going to feel anything that um, um, they're not going to feel that there's a problem with the kidneys uh, most folks are ha will have no symptoms at all even though the kidney function is um, dropping off and the things that um, all the things that the kidneys are supposed to be doing um, are dropping off once that GFR how much blood the kidneys are filtering every minute um, drops below six zero okay so um, and some of those things include, besides passing the waste and the electrolytes, the kidneys are also responsible for making sure um, our bones are staying strong by making sure there's not too much, not enough calcium or phosphorus. The kidneys are involved in making sure that our blood pressure stays um, normal, that our, the volume of our bodies stays normal, that, you know, if we... Um, uh, don't have access to water, the kidneys are holding back um, water. That's why your pee is so dark yellow. But if you're drinking, drinking, drinking a lot, your pee is going to be really light colored because your kidneys are getting rid of the extra water that your body doesn't really need. Okay. The kidneys are also involved in making blood. Yes, they um, produce a special hormone that takes, um, that tells the bone marrow to make more blood. Uh, you're not gonna feel any of that until the, um, the function has dropped down to say like five for a lot of people. And, and then it's too late. We wanna be able to find the kidney problem 
early, as early as possible. That's why I can't stress enough that you have to get screened, you have to get tested um, at least once a year, maybe even more often if you're someone who has, definitely more often if you're somebody who has high blood pressure or diabetes, and at least once a year for someone who um, just has a family history of it, okay? Um, but I, th I, you know, again, maybe it's because I'm a nephrologist, I think everybody should be screened. I mean, it's so simple, like why wouldn't you? It's a simple blood and a urine test, and I really wanna make sure you hear the urine test part. That's for um, um, very small amounts of protein in the urine, and that's before the overall kidney function is um, affected. So even before that GFR drops down below six zero, um, if there's damage to the kidneys, you'll see um, higher than normal amounts of protein in the urine, okay? So the sooner we find out about it, the sooner we can do something about it. Um, and that means figuring out the cause and treating the cause. There's nothing, and I, I said this in an earlier video, there's nothing specific that are, is gonna make the kidneys come back. When they're gone, they're gone, particularly if they've been abused um, by years and years and years of high blood pressure or diabetes, particularly if they haven't been um, really w well controlled. So um, the sooner we can start getting those things controlled so that they can stop hurting the kidneys, the, the longer you'll be able to um, have functioning kidneys. And you know, hopefully live out your life without having to think about things like dialysis and transplant, you know? I mean, you really, y'all don't want that, you don't want that smoke, I'm, I'm just saying. So best to avoid it, all right? And, um, and the blood test is a, a creatinine, all right? It's just a simple blood test. Um, that's the, the fastest, uh, best way that we currently have to um, check kidney function and it's, it's really simple and uh, any doctor can um, order that for you okay so um, I think that's enough I'm gonna leave it there I really hope that you will like subscribe and share uh, this video and the others with um, someone who you feel like would benefit from this information and please let me know if there's something in particular that you'd love for me to talk about um, drop a comment or you can reach out you can reach out to me through my uh, website thenephrologist.com I hope to hear from you and I hope this helps and I'll see you soon take good care